So what's going on toxic gamers? Well, just like that, the hype for Black Ops 6 just got real, everybody. The cheating streamers, they are back, man. They're ready to cheat in video games. They're ready to cheat and get their diamond camels, their nebula camels and zombies. They're trying to get their dark matter camels in multiplayer. Ride the 9 kitty player. I am strong. I am independent. I am dad's little princess. Men are always just so wrong. wrong. 9 kitty player, Nadia, the queen, she is back as well. Like the video if you do not cheat at video games. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for three likes on the video. Shout out to the homie Call of Shame. Wait for this one, guys. Roll it. streamer Breadman, who I've exposed countless times for cheating, has now decided to not play Black Ops 6. Bruh, why? Call of Duty flew this rat out to play the game early, sending him all sorts of gifts through the mail. But when it came out officially, he is refusing to play it. A closet cheater, right now, is playing on Breadman's account. He is leveling nah. his weapons camos and all attachments while breadman continues to play warzone ricochet have already stated account sharing is uh, bro like if you're a gameplay streamer that is always like hey i am the best in the world 9 kitty 9 kitty 9 9 9 9 9 if you're always like strong 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 independent 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 and then you pay somebody else to play on your account so they rank you up and unlock all the attachments bruh I mean, get mama with that, bro. Get mama with that, bro. Prohibited. Yet Raven Software do nothing. They stand back and allow streamers like Breadman to cheat in the open. This rat is an absolute fraud. When the private cheat was detected, Breadman flew to Spain for two weeks. After everything was sorted out, he came back, only to report he still can't log in because there was a smell of gas and he was mm. afraid of death. Um... Oh, that, that that might be valid. That might be valid then. We had a gas leak, and apparently if you smell gas, you should evacuate your house immediately. But nobody bought that excuse. Now he is refusing to log in to Black Ops 6. Absolute rat behavior. Sharing your account with someone else is cheating. There is no debate. No, no I get it. Like, if you're somebody... And Activision has mentioned that, which is actually wild, right? Uh, that they said that if you share your account that is cheating but these streamers be like nah man i need to i need to pay somebody so they unlock my weapons bro like that is different kind of stupid man like phase swag and the phase rejects wanted to be the first team in the world to win the prestige race but i never even heard of our radar hack i just like to tick, 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 tick. yeah man the homie swag likes to tick 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 he never even heard of our radar hack though man damn he took to twitter to complain to call of duty exposing the winning team for using a VPN. As this was cheating, Swag was indeed correct. By using a VPN, it allows you to kill poor skilled players, allowing yep, faster yep. unlocks of weapon camos, attachments, yes, perks, yes, XP and more. But, haven't the streamers all tried to justify this? Exactly. For the past year? They have been doing the exact same thing, and it's yeah. called 2-boxing. This is where streamers use a dummy account, Imagine like cheating in video games and using Tim the Tatman skin. Oh man. Oh man. I feel bad for you, homie. Damn, Tim the Tatman. I wish I could come and play that Tom Tom on your forehead and drop like the baby oil. Not not from Diddy though. No Diddy, no Diddy, man. Yeah, man. Diddy was caught with so much baby oil though. Like uh, that that joke is not gonna run well, man. Damn, man. But I wish I could play come and play Tom Tom on your forehead, bruh. Like, they be doing you dirty, homie. Like, damn, man. Damn, bro. Uh, by, by, by the way, like, is Tim the Tatman skin back in the in, in the shop or not? Bruh. I to launch them that. into low-skilled lobbies in order to get high kills. Because, yeah, Activision did remove it after the Nick Merck situation, right? They removed the homie Tim skin as well. But people that bought it, they keep it, right? I, I think... I, I'm not sure about Nick Merck skin, though. I think they just removed it completely, like, even if you bought it, right? I don't know, man, but thank you for subscribing. Could be wrong, though. Let me know in the chat. Faster the XP, unlock challenges, camos, and attachments. Meanwhile, on Twitter, someone on, called bruh. out Swag and the rest of the streamers for exploiting. Come on, bruh. Y'all acting like you didn't switch time zones to get an 18-hour head start. <laughs> Let them be. <laughs> this is when the streamers connected to a different country in order to play the game early, to get ahead of the competition. By connecting to New Zealand, it gave them a 17-hour head start over every- uh, Okay, <laughs> pump the brakes though. Like that, that is not an issue though. Because a lot of people could have done the same, a lot of people did it. But I do agree if streamers turn around and they're like, I am the world first prestige master. Wait for the Nadia clip as well. I am the first, 
first in the world, first in the world. And you use the New Zealand method, then get, get mama with that, man. Then get mama with that, bro. But if you're just uh, showing gameplay or playing the game, you're not boasting about it, then that's different, right? Because everybody could have done that, and that's, I wouldn't say that's cheating, bro. Like, come on, man, what are we talking, man? Not everything is cheating. I get it, like, a lot of streamers juicing, they tick, tick, ticks and all that, I get that. But this one, it's a non-issue. Unless the streamer then go ahead and starts uh, beating their chest, start doing helicopters with their release, or, or maybe start doing helicopters on BBCs, and start saying that, yeah, bro, like, I'm the best, I'm the best, or, yeah, then I would be like, nah, maybe, maybe you're not. Maybe you're not. Everyone else, who is waiting patiently. The world's smallest Warzone streamer, around the same size as a jelly bean, even tried to complain about a VPN as she also boosted in the New Zealand server to get a 17-hour advantage. This cheating female, who was exposed for being inside a cheat discord, who was banned by Activision for two years, has no grounds for any voice here, so zip it. I asked my AI assistant about the region manipulation, there and if go. changing regions to access the game early was a violation. Basically, yes. Changing your region to access content early violates Activision's terms of service as it bypasses set regional release times. I then asked, I can see this is against the Activision terms of service, but what about Microsoft's Game Pass, as this is what the streamers were doing? Microsoft's TOS includes clauses around fair and intended use of the service, and accessing content outside of your assigned region can be seen as a breach of these terms. Bruh. This clown was even promoting it. Bruh. Can you imagine how annoyed all those legit gamers were? That paid You'll need a jacket in New Zealand. So, I mean, Shanice, uh, she works for Activision. She's like, e -e 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 -e. men are wrong. Men are just manipulating. I'm going to show you that Nadia clip too. Wait for it. $70, excited for midnight release, loading into a game to find people already running around with superior weapons and attachments. <laughs> Maybe check with your own publisher before making stupid comments like this. Absolute clown behavior. For those making the trip to New Zealand today, safe travels if you need someone to come during your stay. I know a guy. All so, right. in a nutshell, Face Swag and the unemployed Warzone streamers are complaining to Call of Duty that connecting to a VPN to play the game Bruh. in a different country is cheating. This I guess crazy, but at the same man. time, they all connected to New Zealand during the day one release, doing exactly the same thing. This is why I call them low IQ Warzone streamers. <laughs> Okay, now, a Call of Shame has a valid argument. I, I wouldn't say, like, playing on New Zealand servers is, like, cheating because you wanted to play early. But that, I mean, that point is valid, though. I want to show you guys this clip, though. Because, of course, like, Suggas be out here juicing. They're doing the tick, tick, tick swag, like, so tick, 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 VPN. And he's uh, accused of VPNing, and uh, apparently he just did what he was being accused of. I guess if you're on a console, then that's different because you're not VPNing. I guess on Xbox, you can literally change your location. On PlayStation, you need to make a new PlayStation account with New Zealand settings in it, right? And uh, yeah, you don't need VPN for that. You're literally, yeah, right? So you're not VPNing in that aspect. But that was a gotcha moment there for sure. Ifakil sure. has took to Twitter in an attempt to gain some clout from the simps. He posted he has the most kills in the world. However, failed to understand he was displaying friends only. This is why I call them low IQ Warzone streamers. The streamers are playing terrible. They are unable to control recoil anymore. Because yeah. pub stompers stomp all over streamers. This is why they will be two boxing very soon. <laughs> Black Ops 6 is now out. And there the Warzone go. streamers wait. There we go, boys. I am strong. I am strong. I am independent. I am. Men are always manipulating. Men are so wrong. I am right. Men are wrong. wrong. Uh, but I am my dad's little princess. <laughs> Wasted no time in violating the Microsoft, Sony, and Activision terms of service, as they manipulated the region in order to play the game early, spoiling Bruh. it for everyone else waiting for the midnight launch. By the time the game was officially out in the United States, the streamers were already high levels, some even with the golden camos unlocked. It's just another example of the level of integrity, and to be honest, disrespect. But, that didn't stop Nadia and her friends, from finding ways to steal from the Call of Duty promotions. Mm. They chatted about the double XP codes, how they were going online to generate fake receipts, in order to get more codes. This is not only against the terms of service, but right. also against the law. Yo, Nadia, I was trying to say, uh... Oh. 
Caesar.com. You can just forge your receipt and upload it to Little Caesar. Yeah, but I, I heard that that was patched. Is it patched? No, nah, I just did it not too long ago. You what? can only do one every, like, day. Oh, uh, wait. One every day? Forge your receipt? Wait, but you say you have 40, bro. Alright, hold on. Dang it, hold on. What was it? I'm actually almost missing this. What is it? You gotta make I will not play out how the streamers were able to generate the codes. However, I visited the website to verify this, and it allowed me to create a fake receipt within around 30 seconds. I'm sorry, but this is fraud. I asked my AI assistant. And because of that, you can get like double XP after that? That is disgusting, man. That is disgusting. But what's the name of the website, though? <laughs> That, that is disgusting. There's a meme somewhere like I saved, right, that I wanted to post. Yeah, this is the one, right? So, like, this is that, this is the same, same meme, kind of. This is the worst thing any news channel can do to get the TRP. Worst, disgusting, sick. By the way, which channel? <laughs> same, same one, same thing, man. Same thing, same thing. Is faking a receipt to get free promotional items illegal? Yes. Yeah, Faking a receipt bro. to obtain free promotional items is generally considered fraud, which is illegal. It typically falls under laws against theft by deception or false representation, as it involves knowingly presenting false information to obtain goods or services. Even I mean, for double XP, Suck is gonna be doing like crazy stuff. I remember, like, you know, Suck is. Uh, I'm not sure if like it's the same thing with the uh, Mountain Dew or Doritos or not, but Mountain Dews, Doritos, they usually come out with double XP and people do steal codes from that too. So people gonna be people though. Suck is gonna be suckers, man. But for her to, first of all, she's accused of cheating, right? She was banned for cheating too. Not sure if, if she cheats anymore or not. Listen, I don't watch her streams. I'm not sure. But of course, she was banned for cheating a while back. And uh, the fact that she's gonna be doing all of that on stream, then of course people are gonna call call her out, and people are gonna call you out like that too, understandably, right? And if you wanna like do this crap, I mean, don't stream it, man. Like, don't stream it. That's like different kind of stupid, bro. Though the value of the item might be small, misrepresentation to gain benefits still constitutes an offense. Yeah, it is. But what what you guys make of it? I, I don't think it's a big deal. It's like double XP. You know what I mean? But then if you turn around and you're like, I am the world's best 9KD player, which Nadia, of course, did. If you're gonna do that, then understandable. But what you, where are you guys at with this one? Like, you guys care for it? I don't care about this one specifically, though. You know what I mean? But I know some of you might do, and that's fair. That's fair. Businesses often take fraudulent activities seriously, and getting caught could lead to civil or criminal penalties, depending on the jurisdiction and the business's policies. I further ask, several Warzone streamers admitted to generating fake receipts in order to get access to free promotional content, could this be considered wire fraud? Yes. If Warzone streamers admitted to generating fake receipts and submitting them digitally to obtain free promotional content, this could indeed be considered wire fraud. Of course, they gotta be Nadia to be the first one to do that, right? Crazy, bro. <laughs> Yeah, go, go be strong, strong, independent, you know? Mm -mm. Men are menace to society, men are just toxic. Wire fraud statutes cover any scheme to defraud or gain something of value through deception using electronic communication methods, such okay. as the internet or email. Bruh. By submitting fake receipts online to obtain promotional content, the streamers would be using electronic means to gain access to items they aren't entitled to. I wonder, like, what Activision's gonna do if they find out, right? They probably already know, so they're not gonna do anything. As long as you guys are not, like, Fairly As long as you guys are not, like, getting, obtaining, getting or obtaining the BBC bundles, the microtransactions in the game for free, then they're cool with whatever you wanna do. You guys can cheat in the video games according to Activision. You allegedly gotta say, whoa, gotta say allegedly. I'm just trying to say, like, they don't, these seconds don't care, man. As long as they're making the money, as long as you guys buying their games, you cheating. <laughs> and they're making the money with BBC bundles, uh, you know, microtransactions. They're happy. 
they don't care they don't care whether you cheat in the games uh, in their games or you do like the double xp crap and all that they don't give a damn about it bro you just saw the devs in the previous clip where the devs were like hey man save travels to the new zealand save travels to the new zealand if you're gonna get the game through new zealand new zealand servers right so yeah they, they just want their games being sold right like and it and and to be fair though on the new zealand thing like like i talked about it it ain't that deep also to me though to me the double xp thing ain't that deep i guess it's the idea behind it right you're generating fake receipts to get that right so yeah it's the idea behind but to get double xp alone or to play the game early on new zealand servers not a big deal i guess the big deal is uh if you're gonna turn around and be like yeah look at me man 9kd 9kd player best in the world best in the world and you're cheating around you're double xp <laughs> you're scamming crap you're doing this to get double xp and you're using like new zealand servers get that 17 hours early access and jump ahead then yes right people gonna call you out absolutely i, I get that part i get that part meeting the general criteria for wire fraud it's not the first time the streamers have broken the law they conducted illegal gambling in saudi arabia in which i called for public lashings to be carried out against Bruh. the asymmetric faced streamers as the law is the law I planned to live stream the event on my channel, I had popcorn, wine, beers and everything. But my request was ignored, which was extremely disappointing. I even it's ran a poll yeah, on my channel, wrong. to ask the community to decide the punishment of the low IQ streamers, and the Holy community answered. Nah, bro, okay, that's kinda wild, bro, like, damn man, what are we talking about, bro, like, come on, call of shame, bro, like, chill, man, tranquilo, brother, tranquilo, papi. I have been sent lots of evidence of streamers conducting illegal gambling in Saudi Arabia in which the penalty can range from prison fines, flogging, and amputation of the right hand. What punishment should the streamers receive? Damn, 46% went with that. Yo, that is crazy. Now nah, listen, man. That, that's wild, though. That is wild. Yesterday's Bruh. Black Ops 6 launch didn't go well for Nadia. Uh oh The permanently banned streamer has returned to the scene, but she was awful. She ran around with no map awareness, no weapon skill, leaving herself wide open. Nadia. I, I, finally, she ain't cheating, right? It seems like that she's not cheating. She was caught without cheating, I guess. So. Was struggling. I was finding it difficult. I am never struggling. It's just a toxic masculinity. Men are always just wrong and men is just a study, you know. As I was dying from secondhand embarrassment. She was just cannon fodder for the other team, and it was very enjoyable to see. Oh wow! Nice point is secure. I see you. One star kilo incoming on your location. Damn, oh, she got a. Angles out on me. This guy hasn't gotten off the game yet. She's going crazy right now. Nine yeah, Katie? Nine Katie? Nope. No. No. The unemployed streamers are having a blast as they casually consume instant noodles, while eating them live on stream to satisfy the simp's fetish. While the rest of us work, or go to school, the streamers play video games, and call it a job. And they are awful, because if this was a job, they would all be fired. Yo, I mean if you're gonna put it like that, then bumble If you're gonna put it like that, then bruh. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. The female is having a few problems. She is just food for the other team. Be honest, be honest, but but, but let her be honest though, Kalashan, let her be honest, man. She was saying like, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Or am I tweaking? Have you not now she just gives up. Tweaking? tweaking? Is this what happened to the best female Warzone player? This? These streamers are awful. Stay tuned for tomorrow's latest news. Guys, check out this video on the screen. This is the last streamer that was caught cheating in Call of Duty. Yours truly. Check it out, and I'll see you right there, man.